Managing neurocity psychosis, challenges and solutions. Neurocity psychosis is the most common and mental infection in the world. It is responsible of one third of epilepsy cases in endemic areas. Developing countries are more concerned. However, reported cases in developed countries are not seldom and are due to immigration and person-to-person -person transmission. The aims of this paper were firstly, to review tenure sodium life cycle, clinical laboratory and neuroimaging presentation of neurocity psychosis, which are important points to understand the principles of neurocity psychosis management, and then to focus on challenges faced during neurocity psychosis management, especially in low and middle income countries with solutions and perspectives to overcome them. Diagnosing neurocity psychosis remains a challenge especially in developing endemic countries, where neurocystic psychosis is known as the great imitator. This is due to the complex nature of this disease, with many stages of parasite evolution. Neurocystic psychosis is difficult to diagnose because there are numerous asymptomatic cases which can reach 50% of patients. Also because there is a low specificity of symptoms, scarcity of brain imaging methods in developing countries and lack of specificity of surgical tests when used alone for neurocity psychosis. Treatment of neurocity psychosis should be tailored for any patient and to the neuropathological type of neurocity psychosis. Symptomatic treatment is the mainstay of neurocity psychosis management and should not be delayed. It should target brain edema and increase intracranial pressure where corticosteroids and surgery can be used. Symptomatic treatment should also target seizures and epilepsy as well as headaches. Specific treatment of neurocity psychosis using albendazole and or prazicantel as main drugs. Although antiparasitic treatment reduces the number of active lesions and long-term seizure frequency, its efficacy is limited and strategies to improve treatment regimens are warranted. It is important to note that specific treatment is not an emergency because it may induce or increase persisting cerebral edema. So in cases with risk of intracranial hypertension, specific treatment should be delayed. Prevention of neurocity psychosis is an important feature of management. Eradication or tight control of neurosis psychosis is possible and has been achieved in local models.